Despite the fact everyone announces that TV has been dead over and over again, it, it, it doesn't go away. And, it, and it's because it's a great product. It's a great product for audiences and it's a great product as, as a business. Will it maintain its integrity after he forks it? Oh my god, like butter. With the strong digital presence that BuzzFeed has on so many platforms, why are you guys making this huge push into television? So we think of TV not just as the traditional system, but more as a content type. It's content that people are intentionally viewing and have some attachment to. So the way that we think about it and the way that we're investing in it is we view traditional television as a similar platform to how we view Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, and it's just a different type of audience behavior and content type that you have to make. So do you think the internet is becoming this new testing ground for pilots, and if so, how? Right now, television is done at very high risk with very low iteration. So in the pilot process, uh, companies are investing a lot of money and hoping that they nailed it on the first time, not even testing it with audiences. Digital allows us to measure things in a way we haven't been able to before. I don't necessarily see it as the minor leagues for traditional, but we're able to do things both actively and passively to gauge whether an audience likes something. So, you know, actively is just asking them, should this be a show? Passively is seeing how long they watch a traditional episode. The great thing about our shows is that we're able to do them a lot faster and really test audience engagement with them. So so for instance, with our shows Worth It and Unsolved, we're doing three to four seasons a year. And what we've noticed with Unsolved in particular is that the fan base is, is super engaged. How is BuzzFeed leveraging the data that it has and how is that translating into the television projects? So up until recently, there was only one main video viewing behavior on digital and that was around social short form. And that was something that we've noticed is get becoming shorter and shorter as we go. Where right now we're seeing a big divide between videos one minute and under and eight minutes and over. The one minute and under are very non-intentional views. You're usually opening up some kind of social feed whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and you're sort of trusting them to give you things that you're going to want to watch. Uh, on the eight minute and over side, we're seeing very intentional views where audiences are tied to a particular brand, whether it's a show or a piece of talent, and they're willing to make time and effort to watch this. We see the future of TV being in conversation, so we're constantly iterating, constantly testing, and directly asking the audience whether we're doing the right thing.